What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Bonnie and this is my channel where I talk about all things lifestyle and DIY. So if you're interested in either of those, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on those notifications. Today I'm going to share with you guys my living room makeover. So I'm really excited about it because when we first moved in, a bunch of the living room stuff, it was cute. Like you can see that it was fine, but it just wasn't me anymore, if that makes sense. So my taste has changed throughout the years um, and especially more recently. So I went from like full on farmhouse to more boho and now I'm transitioning into Honestly, I don't even know what you want to call it, but I still like the boho vibe uh, and I like partial of the farmhouse vibe, but I really wanted a clean looking, minimal, modern type living room. So the first thing that I did was I went onto Pinterest and I created a board. So these are the inspiration photos for my living room. As you can see, I really like the clean, crisp, white colors plus neutrals wood accents and i really really still loved the green so i kept my living room pillows um the larger ones that were green and then i got rid of the other ones because those were definitely more of a boho vibe so you'll see later on which pillows that i ended up choosing so in today's video, I will go over a couple of DIY projects that I did in order to kind of pull the living room together with the pieces that I already had. I did do a lot of shopping on Amazon and Target, so I'll mention those pieces as I go over them. But if you guys wanna see how I did this living room makeover, just keep watching. Real quick guys, I just wanna apologize for any funny faces that I might be making in this video and any awkward smiles because I just got braces put on two days ago so I'm still kind of getting used to it and I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to smile with braces so there's that but let's get on with the video. So the first DIY project that I wanna to talk to you guys about is this little nightstand that I have. I actually got this nightstand from Goodwill back in California and I wanna say that it was only $10. It's super, super cute, so I didn't wanna get rid of it. I really love the shape of it and the style of it. I just wasn't in love with the color. So I was trying to stay away from darker colors and this was originally black. So for this DIY project, all I had to do was take the tabletop off because I didn't want to change that. Like I said, I really wanted to keep the wood elements in the living room and that's exactly what I did with the side table. So I flipped it over and the screws that were holding it together, I just removed those and those were just on the inside of the side table. So once I removed those, I was able to take the tabletop off and just have the base of the nightstand free to be able to paint it. So I'm actually using a color called Smoky Beige by Rust-Oleum. It's a two-time paint, which means that it is a paint and a primer in one. So the coverage is really, really good. Unfortunately, guys, this is actually the first time that I spray painted this table, but I ended up spray painting it two more times just because I wasn't in love with the color as far as it fit into the living room. After the table completely dried, I was able to put it back onto the tabletop and then reattach the screws to secure it to the base. And the color is really nice. This is what it looked like when it was dry, but it just didn't quite fit into the living room. Okay guys, so the next project that I ended up doing, I don't know if you guys have seen my shopping with me video. I went to TJ Maxx and I purchased these planters. They are different sizes and I only got two of them so that I could stagger them on one of the walls in the living room. However, like I said, black wasn't in the color scheme, but that wasn't a problem. So I ended up painting them the same smoky beige as I did the nightstand, but also ended up changing the color later on. So these planters were perfect for the living room because of their shape. I wanted different shapes in the living room because we have the coffee table, which is a rectangle. We have the TV stand, which is also like rectangular shape. And we have the TV, which is also rectangular shape. And we have the sectional, which is like, you know, straight edges. So I knew I wanted more round and different shaped elements in the living room. And so that's why I purchased these. To do this DIY project, I started off by removing the tags that came with it. So I taped off the gold parts of the planters because I knew I didn't want those to be painted. I just wanted to paint the bottom half, which was the black part of the planter. I then added the paper on top of it just to make sure that no spray paint got on top of the gold. So I ended up using smoky beige on these, like I said, and later changed the color just because the smoky beige didn't go with anything else as far as furniture in the room. So I ended up spray painting these and the nightstand white. I like to do short strokes of spray paint just because I want to avoid any excessive spray paint getting onto my projects because that creates drips and we don't want that. Thank you. 
And this is the reason why I prop them up, just so that I can make sure that I have really good coverage around the entire planter. As far as it goes for hanging these, they're super light and I really hope somebody will not hang on them. So I just secured them to the walls with a screw, just straight into the drywall. As you guys can see here, I just went and used whatever I already had on hand, so some succulents and some picks. And to fill it at the bottom, I just used plastic bags because I was really going for budget friendly here. But you can't tell from far away. So now let's talk about window treatment. I purchased all of the curtain rods off of Amazon. They were actually a really good price and they came with everything that you need. So they came with the little curtain rod holder. I can't, I can't think of what it's called right now to be honest with you, but hopefully that's right. And it came with the drywall anchors and the screws to secure them to the wall. So I thought that was pretty neat because most of the times when I buy curtain rods, I don't feel like they come with the curtain rod holder. Uh, and for the price that I paid for these, I'm really happy with them. And they're gold and they have that really clean, sleek, modern look to them. There's no fancy finials or anything like that. So I really wanted that for the living room and that's exactly what these are. So this is what it looks like before hanging up the curtains. And I feel like I'm just gonna leave those blinds open all the time, just so that you can't see it. And it lets the light filter in through the curtains that I purchased, but now it's time to hang them. So I actually had a lot of problems hanging these because I thought I was going to run into some studs. And my stud finder did find studs, but unfortunately, or fortunately for people who live in Hawaii, they were metal studs. So I've never encountered metal studs before, so I had a harder time getting these curtain rods up than I expected, but in the end, it all worked out because I just used the drywall anchors that they came with. So I purchased my curtains from Target, and these were a splurge. And when I say splurge, like I've never bought curtains this expensive before. Most of the time I go to Walmart and I get those super, super sheer curtains, which I have no idea what happened to them because I had like a thousand at our last house and I'm pretty sure the movers lost them. But anyways, I usually buy really cheap curtains and for whatever reason, I was compelled to buy really nice curtains this time and I absolutely love them. They're white, but they're light filtering, so they let in a lot of natural light throughout the day, which is something that I absolutely love. All right guys, so now let's talk about lighting. I ended up getting a second lamp later on and I will show you guys that later in this video, but this lamp is from Amazon, actually, both lamps are from Amazon, but this lamp was super cute. I put up a poll on my Instagram, so if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you do that. I put up a poll on Instagram and I asked which lamp do you guys think would go better in this living room? And I had several different options, most of them, or all three of them I wanna say, were gold and white or a cream shade. And so this was the one that we decided on, actually. Uh, this was my favorite one out of all of them because the other ones had some funky type seam that you could see, and I wasn't a fan of that. So for the price of this lamp, I gotta say, it's pretty amazing. I didn't know that it could fit in the box because I was a little skeptical because of the shade. The lamp shade actually fit into the box, but the way that they assembled it and had you put it together and everything like that was actually kind of cool, and it all worked out. Again, guys, I'm going for that really clean, simple, minimalistic look. So I wanted a lamp that reflected that as well, but I love the gold color of this lamp and the shade that goes with it too. So let's talk about this DIY coffee table just a little bit, only because I have a separate video for that, but I absolutely love this coffee table. I feel like it's very versatile. So like I said, I was going for that minimalistic, clean, modern, boho, whatever you wanna call it type style. And this, I feel like can go with anything. It can go with farmhouse, it can go with rustic, it's antique-ish because of all the destruction that I did to it. Um, and yeah, I just feel like it can go with any type of uh, house style or home decor style. And so that's why I decided to go with it. But yeah, so I'm not gonna go into much further detail about that since I do have an entirely separate video just for that coffee table. But if you guys have any questions on it, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. 
So I actually don't have much to say about the pillowcases except that these were actually my second choice. The first choice, I also didn't read the description very well and it only came with one. And for the price, I just wasn't happy with it. So I ended up returning them and getting these, which came in a pack of two, and I'm much, much more happy with them. These pillows are really pretty. They're white and they have this cute little fringe on them, which I suppose can go for like farmhouse decor or boho, but I just loved that they had a little more texture to them because I already had velvet pillows, which are the big green ones that I also got from Amazon. But these came with like the fringe, like I said, so it added texture that I needed to kind of step up the bro pillow game on my sofa or my sectional. So I think these definitely did the trick. So now I'm starting to put everything back into the room so I can kind of see how all of the elements work with each other. And this is when I realized that the nightstand and the planters just weren't the right color. So I wanted to use things that I already had on hand because I knew I had things that would work well with the elements and the look that I was going for for this living room. At the bottom of the box, I was able to find this cute little plant that I actually got from Goodwill for only $4. And then I also found another plant that I got from Five Below, and this one was So here's a recap of what the living room used to look like. It doesn't look horrible, it's just that none of the elements in this living room went well together. And like I said, my style had changed, so I just wanted to switch things up just a little bit. It was just very empty, and you'll see these wicker baskets that were in the TV stand are very boho to me, so I just wanted to kind of change those out for a fresh look. And this is what the living room looks like today. I feel like it's so inviting, so clean, very warm looking, and I love how all of the elements and the textures and the colors all go well together. The baskets below are from Target, and I think they look so much better than the wicker baskets. And there you guys have it, my first room makeover for our new home. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and I will see you guys next time.